Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Larkspur Library Storytime. My name is Teresa, and this is my friend Theodore. <clears throat> and Theodore is going to help me sing the hello song. So we're going to do some waving and some clapping and some stomping. Are you ready? We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we wave hello like this. We clap hello like this. We clap hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we clap hello like this. Ready to stomp? Ready to stomp your feet? We stomp hello like this. We stomp hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we stomp hello like this. All right, good job, everybody, and good job, Theodore. story time. All right, I hope you're ready too. Then let's get up our 10 little fingers and give them a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's open and shut them and open and shut them and let's sing. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, slowly crawl them, right up to your chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not put them in. Good job. Let's do a uh, twinkle, twinkle. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job, everybody. All right, well, I brought two books to read to you today that are all about counting and colors. Ready? This first one is called Dog's Colorful Day, a messy story about colors and counting by Emma Dodd. This is Dog. As you can see, Dog is white with one black spot on his left ear. Do you see that? That black spot. At breakfast time, Dog sits under the table as usual. But splat! A drip of red jam lands on his back. And now Dog has two spots. One, two. Two spots. He slips, oops, after breakfast, dog runs outside and he slips past the man who's painting the front door. Splish, his tail dips into the blue paint. Now dog has three spots. One, two, three, three spots. Dog runs to the park and he rolls on the grass. Squash and the grass makes a green stain on his white coat. So now Dog has four spots. Do you see that green spot there from the grass? Dog follows a little boy eating chocolate. Squish! The boy gives Dog a chocolatey pat, but no chocolate. Now Dog has five spots. Let's see, where are they? One, two, three, four, five. Five spots. <laughs> a bee buzzes up to see what's going on. Swish! The bee drops yellow pollen as it flies by. Can you see that? There it is in the middle of the book. And now he has a yellow spot. Now dog has six spots. <laughs> it's getting more and more spots. Dog trots through the park. Splosh! 
a drop of pink ice cream lands on his right ear. Do you see that? That little girl has a pink ice cream cone and it tripped right on Dog right there. Now Dog has seven spots. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spots. Time to go home. Dog runs up the street. Splash! A bouncing ball splatters Dog with gray mud. Now Dog has eight, eight spots. In front of the gate, Dog steps on a carton of orange juice and splurt. A patch of orange appears on his left leg. Do you see that? Now Dog has nine spots, nine spots all together. Dog races back inside and knocks right into Vicky. <laughs> Silly dog, she says. And Vicky's purple marker leaves a smudge on Dog's head. Do you see that purple smudge? Now Dog has 10 spots. Vicky looks down on Dog and she counts his colorful spots. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten spots. Vicky looks more closely, and Dog has a red spot of jam, a blue blob of paint, a green stain of grass, a brown smear of chocolate, a yellow patch of pollen, a pink drop of ice cream, a gray splatter of mud an orange splash of juice, a purple smudge of ink, and of course, a black spot on his left ear. You need a bath, dog. So look at that, there he is getting a bath. When dog climbs into bed, he has just one black spot on his left ear. All the other spots are gone. Do you see that one that's left? That's the one that he started with. <laughs> Good night, dog. What a colorful day you had. <laughs> and I like how he's dreaming. Do you see above his head? He's dreaming of dog bones in all different colors. And that is the end of Dog's Colorful Day by Emma Dodd. And I hope that you liked that one. Let's take a minute and do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready? Let's start up here with head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. And eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Let's do it one more time, just a tiny bit faster. Are you ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. All right, this will be the last time and we'll do it just as fast as we can. Are you ready? Up here. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, everybody. All right, well, I brought with me some little friends, and they are five green and speckled frogs. Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, you jumped too far. Get back up there. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five green and speckled frogs. And speckled just means that they have spots on them. And they do. And they were sitting on a hollow log. And there's the hollow log right there. And there is the pool right there on the other side of the hollow log. So it goes like this. 
Five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. One, two, three, four. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just one, two, two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no more green speckled frogs. <laughs> all right, they are all having a swim, which frogs like to do. So, all right. I hope you like that little song. And goodbye, frogs, until next time. <laughs> all right, I have a story for you that is brand new to us. And it is called One Osaurus, Two Osaurus. So if you like counting and you like dinosaurs, you're really going to like this book. And it's by Jim Norman. One misty, mo moisty morning, long before the world was tame, some prehistoric pals, pals set out to play a counting game. You see those prehistoric pals? Dinosaurs. One Osaurus, two Osaurus. What do you think comes next? Three Osaurus, four. <laughs> They're like this dinosaur, he's upside down. Five Osaurus, six Osaurus, seven Osaurus, roar! <laughs> Dinosaurs roar, don't they? Eight Osaurus, nine Osaurus, scurry to the herd. Something's coming, something's big. N no one says a word. See all the dinosaurs down here? Something big is coming, what could it be? <gasps> Rumble, rattle, quick skedaddle, raptor in the lead. Ready or not, here I come, dinosaur stampede. There they all are, do you see them running? <laughs> Everybody quiet now, one, two, Three. Do you see how all the dinosaurs are hiding? They're hiding behind the numbers. That's coming. Tuck your tails and neck. Four, five, six. They're hiding behind those numbers. What are they worried about? Closer, closer. Seven, eight, nine. Time is up. One, four, eight, six, two, five, seven, three, nine. Oh, they're all mixed up. <laughs> What's coming? <gasps> it's Tannosaurus Rex. <laughs> These things are scary, huh? Tannosaurus Rex. Look at those teeth. No wonder they were hiding. Chumposaurus, Stomposaurus, Sniffle, Snuffle, Sneak. Ready, here he, he is, 
the mighty king of hide and seek. Do you see what it is? It's number 10. <laughs> number 10 right there. And a little dinosaur jumps out and says, Roar! One by one, they're found Osaurus, even clever four. Time to play a different game. <gasps> like Simon says, Osaur. And that's the end. I liked that book. One Osaurus, Two Osaurus by Kim Norman. And I hope that you liked it too. I liked those dinosaurs playing hide and go seek with each other, hiding behind the numbers. That was really fun. Alrighty, we are ready to um, get at our two little blackbirds like this. Can you do this with me? Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One named Soft, the other named Loud. Fly away, Soft. Fly away, Loud. Come back, Soft. Come back, Loud. Good job, one more. Two little blackbirds flying through the sky. One flew low and the other flew high. Fly away, Low. Fly away, High. Come back low, come back high. Good job, everyone. Well, I hope you had fun today at story time. And it's time for Theodore to help me sing the goodbye song. And we're going to do some waving. Can you wave with us like this? Adios, mis amigos, adios. Adios, mis amigos, adios. Adios, mis amigos, adios. Mis amigos, adios. Mis amigos, adios. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you again soon, hopefully. In